sense that it's very relevant in real life. So you get knowledge about just general commercial knowledge and how the market is actually doing. It matches my skills and requires quite a nice varied skill set in quite challenging disciplines such as a negotiating, negotiating skills, drafting key documents and communication skills. Initially I wanted to be um, a real estate lawyer because my family comes from a background of um, property and I enjoy the fact that property law is quite interesting, it's quite tangible. It's the subject that came to me most naturally, it made most sense. And then when I was doing work experience, it was the area that really interested me. It was good with the workload, had some very interesting clients. And then when I went to Maples, I found it was an amazing combination of the workload and the great culture. Maples Deasdale is one of the leading commercial real estate law firms in the city. The reputation really helps. I knew that it was a really specialist um, firm that had an excellent reputation in the industry. You can work for something as small as just a private individual or maybe two sisters who've inherited a family portfolio to as large as a huge property funds such as RSA or big companies such as Cineworld. And I wanted to work alongside people that also share my passion for property and for real estate. It's both a relaxed, friendly and generally lovely environment to work in. A small firm with a great culture but also had interesting clients and was obviously focused on property law because that's the area I was most interested in. And then when I came across Maples, um, it, was, it was an excellent choice for me. Uh, it was the ideal law firm for me. First thing I do when I get in in the morning is probably come in, say hello to a couple of my colleagues. Um, so I actually make a cup of green tea first thing in the morning, um, just to get me going. Um, and then I have to check my emails and just make a list. Um, and then list out my to-do list. Um, check my emails to see if anything urgent has come in overnight. Uh, anything from the day before, uh, if there's anything I need to follow up from. Usually I come in follow up on any of the emails I've seen during my commute in. We subscribe to lots of different industry publications, so I look through those and see if there are any of our deals have been reported. Can I read the news articles in the sector, such as the Estates Gazette, or perhaps Lexology, just to keep up with both law and property itself? The good thing about working here at Maples is that we work with a lot of big name clients, and if our deals aren't reported that day, um, there's usually one of our clients in the media and so it's interesting to keep up with what they're doing um, and to see what's happening in the industry. You're exposed to a large range of different projects from various smaller clients to the larger ones, from the high end um, uh, all the way across to uh, some of the smaller transactions. The day-to-day -day lettings and way leaves to large dispositions. Have a lot of independence in the workload or you can be supporting some of the more senior fee earners. It's a huge corporate restructuring. I'm a first year trainee at the minute so I have only done commercial um, property but I'm hoping to go on to do seats in construction and finance. A lot of the work I've been involved in is involved uh, leases and licenses right through to the sale of freeholds. Um, we in finance range from the large scale uh, projects which are in the millions uh, to small scale redemptions. The good thing about Maples is that um, there are a few, a small number of trainees at any one time so you are likely to get the seats that you request. I'm definitely looking forward to my next seat. work hard when you're in the office and that's really appreciated and then when you finish the work that needs to be done that day you can go. So you're not expected to work all hours. I have a lot of flexibility um, in terms of social life. There's no culture of presenteeism as there is in a lot of different firms. As long as you work efficiently on average I wouldn't say you'd leave later. It's not a firm where you're encouraged to stay very late. Um, every single day of the week. So everybody appreciates that you have a work at, a life outside of work um, and it's actually really nice to feel that um, you don't have to stay for the sake of it. You're most valuable to a company when you can just sort of be independent and get on with work but that obviously comes with experience. You're fully expected to ask as many questions as you can and you're not expected 
by any stretch of the imagination to get things right um, the first time to prepare you for when you're for when you're a qualified solicitor. Find an area of law that really interests you and that you're really passionate about. What area, what size of law firm you want to go into, but also it's very important that it fits the culture. City law firms can go from sort of niche practices like Maples, um, which has a very strong client base. Know what you can bring to the table as well. Find the area that you're most passionate about and then find firms which have a really good reputation. Their presence on social media and what they've been up to and the charities they've been supporting. Maples itself has a great website. Oh, so definitely know the kind of firm that you want to be applying for. I mean, if you're going to start a career, it's really important to learn from the best. I specifically looked at someone like Anna Klein, who was interviewing me at the time, and saw that she'd been at Maples her whole career, she'd trained here, she had worked her way up, and she was now the partner in charge of junior recruitment. It showed that there was a real future at Maples for anyone who trained here. And I think that's what we offer here at Maples. Hi, I'm Anna Klein. I'm a partner at Maples Teasdale, responsible for trainees and paralegal recruitment. Uh, I've been at Maples since 2003 when I joined as a trainee myself. Uh, I progressed and I became a partner in 2017. My role involves choosing who we interview uh, for trainee roles, and I'm looking for people who show real passion for law. Uh, and an understanding that our firm is a specialist niche property firm, so you know, if they can indicate why they've chosen us, that's a real plus. I also see people as whole people, um, so I want to see what they do outside work, what their interests are, what their passions are, that's what really makes people uh, stand out to me when we're talking to them. Um, overall, we are looking for people to join our team as trainees and to remain at the firm as long as possible. We look at this as a long-term recruitment, not just for the two-year training contract, and we really hope that people will stay with us and possibly progress the partnership like I did myself.